Ladies and gentlemen, I've had us on high earthquake and volcano alert, which includes tsunamis, I guess. Due to all the planets being on the same side of the sun, which is a planet parade, and super beautiful, mega cool comet C2020 F3 Neowise passing Earth's orbit. And so with the comet passing Earth, we have been on high lookout for earthquakes, and we have had them. We had a 7.8 major earthquake in Alaska that caused a tsunami warning, but that was canceled. Uh, and now we've just had a 6.2 earthquake in Tofino, Canada, and it was 16 kilometers deep. And it was just off the coast. And so we're definitely on super high alert. There has been tons of volcano action coming out of four or five or six volcanoes in this range. And so 2020 just gets more interesting, baby. I got my eyes super peeled on multiple areas to watch. And so we've got, this is Invest 97 or 91 L that may or may not organize into a tropical storm or it has a chance of becoming a hurricane. We're going to have to watch because it is 2020 and everybody needs to be ready. And it has cleared out of the keys and the islands. So now it has just a clear path to somewhere in South Texas. And then we are watching Tropical Depression 7, which will soon be named Gonzalo. Um, and a lot of the tracks take it straight under here, which may make it a danger if it can survive the dry air and the wind shear. And then we've got possible severe weathers, gorilla hail or regular hail or tornadoes or straight line winds for new york new york philadelphia pennsylvania columbus ohio baltimore maryland washington dc so there are going to be a lot of people a lot of population that may be under some type of a thunderstorm severe weather warning or possibly tornado so you know the energy is getting thick and the sun is waking up we have a brand new sunspot from new solar cycle 25 a sunspot has appeared and according to its magnetic polarity, it is a member of the new solar cycle 25. The Earth's size dark core is inset in the magnetic map. This is AR2767, and it appears to have the polarity to where it may give us some solar flares. Will we get the X class I predicted could be possible in July to signify that the sun has woken up? Maybe. Definitely maybe. But yeah. Things sure are exciting around here. And I got to say that wave behind Tropical Depression 7, which is called Disturbance 22, is the one that models seem to say is the most dangerous of them all. Oh, and there is a tropical storm or hurricane headed towards Hawaii. And I am your planetary defense commander, Star Lord New Thor 7. And I love you. The icon is bringing in Invest 91 into Middle Texas as a strong or mid-strength tropical storm, and some models have suggested it could develop to be a hurricane. This would happen between now and the 26th, so we get got about 100 hours to watch this as it traverses across the Gulf of Mexico, which has hot waters, but some wind shear. So, and it's 2020, so definitely keep your guard up and everybody be ready for things that just get crazy all across the board. And regardless, it's going to bring heavy flooding into parts of Texas and Louisiana as we are now entering hurricane season and monsoon season. If these two combined, it could cause a lot of flooding problems for a lot of areas in the south and southwest. So it is definitely super active OMG season. Everybody needs to make their preparations now. Because remember, if you rush to get your toilet paper water and snack bars when everybody else is rushing to get their toilet paper water and snack bars you might run out so why not go get them now because your water your toilet paper and your snack bars will last even if this isn't going to be a bad hurricane season but it looks like it could be a monster freaking hurricane season man because i haven't had a chance to get to the hawaii hurricane yet but this is early next week we will possibly be watching a new wave coming off of africa behind td7 and the Euro is persistent on developing that wave and tracking it towards the islands next week under 
Puerto Rico, which would make it a danger to the Gulf, depending on where it went. So out of all the ones we're watching, they all have potential for dangerous and damaging situations. <clears throat> but this is probably the scariest one of them all. And Cranky Weather Guy has been warning us about the middle of August for a while now, so buckle up, buttercup. Cranky Weather Guy, mid-low level is the key, and this is on the Invest 91L, which is over by Florida, and we'll be heading toward Texas. Mid-level low is the key. As it develops, the dig down its west flank allows the upper-level flow to advance up over the surface low. For now, the flow shears the thunderstorms at once better aligned than surface development occurs. And so... You know, get ready. At September 16th is when we typically see our seventh named storm on average. Our newly developed tropical depression is two months ahead of schedule. And so this could be a monster hurricane season of monster hurricane seasons. And it is 2020 where the universe has handed us a new gigantic challenge to meet every single month, bro. Craig, your weather guy, best weatherman on the planet, doing a great job to show us what is happening here. We have two giant highs where the disturbances and cyclogenesis features are going to roll around the highs, which will right now make this the main danger area. And out in the Pacific, as it rolls around the high, that would take it to Hawaii. And so we have a Category 1 or Category 2 hurricane that will be threatening Hawaii in about five or six days. Um, it would come in on the Sunday, the 26th, or Monday, the 27th. And so, you know, some models are drawing it up as Category 1, Category 2. And so it is definitely something to keep an eye on. And remember, hurricane season lasts until November. And I've been giving the award to most active volcano on Earth to Popocatépetl in Mexico, and it has been going off like crazy in pretty much the entire volcano range in Mexico, Guatemala, and surrounding areas have been flipping out. And then we have the earthquakes in Alaska and Canada. Buckle up, buttercup. And I recommend again, during everything, all of this happening, Congress should extend the unemployment benefit extensions to help people through the pandemic and through hurricane season. You know, if we have evacuations, it's going to be, it's going to be quite a big deal. And I do, I'm not on unemployment. I earn all of my money through contributions and donations. Um, so I'm just saying to stabilize civilization. I would highly recommend extending those unemployment benefits. So tell your friends in Congress. China is having major, major, major flood problems as China and USA ratchet up their tensions, anger, and blame at each other. Can we all please calm down? Can we all just get along? We are all in 2020 together, my friends. I mean, the U.S. kicked China out of Houston. Oh, man. But Texas, please don't sleep on Invest 91. Don't let it catch you off guard. If 48 hours from now, people are like, oh, my God, it's become a... Hurricane Category 1, Category 2. Don't be surprised. Expect the worst, prepare for the worst, and pray for the best. A strange Sound says, Volcanic activity is heating up around the world with more than 39 erupting volcanoes and hundreds of earthquakes hitting near or under lava craters. Yeah, as I mentioned before, all the planets on the same side, and the comet is definitely going to kick everything into a whole other dimensional level of stuff. J.K.P. Weather. TD7 looking like Gonzalo this morning. It's expected to strengthen to 65 miles per hour, according to the NHC, but some models, especially hurricane models, bring it to hurricane strength. <sighs> How are you doing? What are you wearing? Everybody out there. So 2020 is like a car speeding right at us. So do what you can to help others out and save the day when and where you can. Although technically, if one of my crushes wants to pick me up and avoid the car crash, to go see a comet or just take me to dinner before hurricane season gets crazy. That would be wonderful. But I guess please like this aren't very attractive. All right. I'll keep you guys posted. This is what I do. And I do a great job. God bless everyone. Talk to y'all soon.